What's up my crypto legends? In this episode, we are taking a look at Daffy Protocol. This is a very interesting project that is trying to solve a very big issue in the blockchain industry. We're gonna go through the token, through the staking program. Also, we're gonna take a look at the team in this review. Also, what is actually Daffy and what it is trying to solve. We take a look at Dr. Scott Stornetta, actually the creator of blockchain, talking good about Daffy. We're gonna take a look at the tokenomics, the token unlock, and some big players such as Elrond and Polygonmatic actually integrating the Daffy protocol. We're gonna take a look at the staking program. I'm gonna show you here how you can stake here with Daffy and taking a look at coin market cap. This one is still very, very small. It only has 13 million of market capitalization, meaning that it does have very high potential to the upside. Now let's go straight into the Daffy overview. Quick disclaimer here before we start with the review. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing here should be taken as financial advice. This is only educational content. Now, take a look at Daffy Protocol. It is reinventing every network. Every decentralized network can now maximize reward distribution based on their demand, creating timeless applications that support reduced inflation and user growth. Now, there is a big problem right now with a lot of blockchain startups, okay, projects, protocols, that they have extremely high APY rewards when they start off and then of course all those big whales that start off with these massive APYs can get these rewards and as soon as people come in they can actually take those token rewards and sell them dumping the price of the token now what it is trying to solve is the ones that are early and they are long term they are here for the tech they don't just don't want to come in for the APY and sell straight away so if we take a look here at super stake rewards pegged to network adoption and social factors create an equilibrium between supply and demand we take a look at the multiverse here, protocols and applications can reduce inflation while supporting long-term users and growth, okay? The people that come in through the beginning and they are long-term investors, they don't wanna just come in, get those extremely high APYs and just a few months afterwards when they've collected all those rewards, dump the prize and go and jump to another project. They actually want to support the people that are here for long-term so they can have you know those rewards. The longer you are in the project, the better rewards you're going to have. So Networks 2.0 reinvented staking liquidity and social models creating robust decentralization with timeless applications. If we scroll down here, the broken economy. Now currently there is over 100 billion dollars in blockchain rewards okay this is what i was telling you about the apys the startups okay they have insane rewards and they do create an inflation everybody wants to get early into that project and then you know leave that project so this is trying to incentive okay very good projects okay you are here for their technology right so every decentralization network faces their inability to reward market participants without high inflation this model distributes tokens early eventually devaluating the network without supporting long-term users. The Daffy protocol creates flavors of existing crypto assets which are tied to the network demand factors. Daffy enables you to now become an actual part of the network you love. So basically Daffy is creating a synthetic version of the actual blockchain project token. So in this case, Polygon Matic, Matic has its token and there would be a D token, which would be the Daffy synthetic token. Matic is used for the network, also for the rewards. So if there's a high demand in Matic, there also will be some inflation. Now basically D token, the synthetic version, will be used for all of those people that are supporting the network and are there for the long run. And if the demand grows, there will be a synthetic version so it won't affect the inflation. And here's where you have the super staking. Daffy reinvents every network within the blockchain space by minimizing the effect of low demand. Super staking uses the D token, which would be the synthetic version, as a reward mechanism that significantly reduces the number of native tokens released into circulation, which would be the inflation. 
So they are creating the next generation of staking and social rewards for users. The future of incentives, create D tokens using Daffy. So you need Daffy to create the synthetic version to distribute rewards that favor long-term engaged users. And this is a huge problem that there is right now. Okay, a lot of people getting into huge APYs, new projects, and then dumping the prize and going jumping to another project. So uh, collecting fees, transaction fees from D tokens help maximize rewards for participants in the economy and stake one, get many. Staking Daffy to speculate on multiple networks bringing predictions into a social staking model. Now we can see Elrond, Polygonmatic integrating the Daffy protocol. If you take a look at the team here, Zain Rana is the founder. He is an English entrepreneur. He's the creator of B2B blockchain and data apps, okay? So they do have a very solid team here. You can take a look at their LinkedIn and they are very active on Telegram, on Twitter. They have huge partnerships such as Chainlink, Refinance and Elrond. So they are definitely working on an excellent project. And when you have someone like the blockchain technology creator, which is Dr. Scott Stonetta, and I will leave this article down below, but basically what he's saying that what Daffy is doing is interesting. The right amount of inflation essentially greases the skins in the system and it just keeps liquidity good. It's very interesting that you're looking at a kind of meta technology, which is Daffy, to be able to introduce the proper amount of inflation and across not just your own network, but across the whole system exactly. So kudos for that. So it's interesting to see, you know, the actual creator of blockchain technology, you know, seeing this project that does have a lot of potential. It is definitely on its radar. So the Daffy token is distributed in a way that supports the growth of the Daffy ecosystem. Approximately 27% goes towards all fundraising. 20% of the Daffy token are used to stake in rewards for the creation of synthetic tokens. 11% goes to the ecosystem reserve to incentive adoption, growth and products created with Daffy. So here you can have the token release. I will be leaving the document down below. You can also see the token release right over here. So it does have a slow token release with time. And we can see Elrond that wants to implement the Daffy protocol. We can see the CEO of Elrond saying algorithmically adjusting an entire economical model according to the velocity of its underlying denomination is perhaps one of the most creative uses of blockchain and synthetics. So the Daffy protocol enables projects to complement their token economies with a logical model based on synthetic tokens which are issued and distributed according to the token's real adoption. This can help projects at any stage to programmatically adjust their economic model according to usage and market cycles. So we can see also Polygon Matic, Daffy Protocol and Polygon join forces to combat hyperinflation through a new rewards mechanism. Polygon will soon be capable of creating Dematic, which is the synthetic version of the token after partnering with Daffy Protocol. The new feature would allow the blockchain scalability platform to minimize the impact of Matic's market valuation during cycles of low demand, so it doesn't have a huge impact. So you can see there are big players trying to integrate the Daffy Protocol technology. Now, if you go to the website now currently you can super stake the Daffy token if you click here on super stake this will take you to the dashboard you can link your metamask all right and they are here with the polygon matic network and the ethereum network you can click here on to stake easy as just staking unstake here and withdraw i think it is 30 days for the staking and if you go to the super pool you can see ethereum v1 v2 and polygon matic here that's just integrated in november the APY is 14.72%, potential APY 96.31%, and the market here, if you just scroll down, okay, the exchanges are on Uniswap, Ascendex, and Gate.io. Here are the ones with the most liquidity, and the bridging is also coming soon, where you could potentially see Avalanche, Algorand, you know, Polygonmatic, all working and bridging together. So this is very, very exciting to see from this project. And this is gonna be it for this Daffy review. Now, let me know in the comment section, what do you think of Daffy protocol? I'll be leaving all the documents down below, also the website in the description. So please do your own research and let me know what you think down below in the comment section of this project. Guys, 
Thank you very much. Make sure to check out the Bitcoin Sensors website because here also you're going to have the latest news, technical analysis, also project reviews. The link is down below of the Bitcoin Sensors website, guys. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.